What's good, YouTube? Just so far, I'm here, guys. Today's August 13th, guys, and as my brother showed you guys, I made a video just earlier right now. We picked up, or not even picked up, guys. We finally got the delivery this morning, guys. From Been Amazon. Been waiting from Amazon. I'm happy, guys. Thumbs up to Amazon. You guys delivered it, like, early morning. I thought it was, like, 8.45. It was about 9-ish, right yeah. before 9, and it came. And I was leaving, and the guy pulled in. He was like, yo, a delivery? And I was like, yo, what am I expecting today? And I was like, god damn, Infinity War. The pre-order. Not Infinity War. What am I saying? Endgame, guys. We didn't even see this movie. My bad if you guys, like, all the Marvel fans are like, yo, what is this guy saying? Infinity War, man. Uh... It's gonna be savage, right? Yeah. I don't know what to say. Uh, hopefully, it's a really good movie, right? I hope. For real. I'm hoping that there's a shitload of Iron Man in there and a shitload of Thor, all right, and very minimum Captain America. I, he ain't nothing, man. Just like Iron Man says, man, he, he ain't nothing without his shield. <laughs> and Iron Man is, is still a billionaire and a playboy with without his suit, so he's still the G. You know what I mean? Uppercase G. He's out there. So yeah, guys. So, yeah. What's going on here? What's going on here? You can turn around and give them a quick look of how we're sitting. This is our 6x12 enclosed projector. We, our trailer that we bought from Lowell's back in the day. We have some style here. Watching, we're going to put a projector on it. We're going to watch a film on it. End game. Why not, right? Yeah. If you guys wondering, why is he doing some redneck hillbilly shit just straight projecting on the trailer? First of all, we got the money to buy an inflatable projector. We can buy an outdoor projector too, but the only reason is it's only going to last like one film or whatnot. And it's not the size that I want. I want an air screen and that thing's like six, seven thousand dollars for like the 12, uh, 14 footer diagonal, like a real projector screen. Otherwise, Amazon, you can get the two, three hundred dollar one too. People say they work and whatnot, but I'm still giving the same screen size, but if not bigger. So I have 150 inches from corner to about right here, which is my screen size that goes about right here. That doesn't display any bit lower than this. I can. That just makes it go to about 159 to around 161 inches give or take um so right now you guys can see it's just a little bit dirty we just moved it we're just gonna give it a rinse we're gonna wash it down that's gonna pitch white again nice and clean for the movie uh what else we put a folding table here my one that i do my mechanic work on we give it a quick rinse down i did my 86 carburetor rebuild complete rebuild on this my carb you guys already know right it's fair enough. why it's dirty like that you guys are like yo man never seen dirty tape in my life yeah so we're gonna put the lot of av stuff there we're gonna put our Yamaha AV receiver right here, and we're gonna put our PS3 up here for our connections. We're gonna bring our two seven Vegas out, the babies, the VS80. We're gonna put them right on the side, more than enough eights. I'm gonna put a center speaker right here by the tire or whatnot right here, and it should be perfect. For seating arrangements, you guys can see, we got the cabana out here. Me and my brother built it. Shout out to my brother. For real? Yeah, <laughs> this guy's like <laughs> a real third party. <laughs> Uh, I laid all the stones here. If you guys can see, it's not 100% done. There's still more that needs to be done. But it's done up to here. This might help pathway. I have to lay the last one right there. You guys can see there's still more stones laying here. Grass and whatnot. It's a 14 by 14 pavilion. Costco one is nice and huge. We got two of them. One more we're still building, guys. Still so much more to do. That one I'm going to show you guys a time lapse or whatever how we build that one. That's the table set up here. We got Avengers. And also, I did install a projector screen. Just a quick one that old school one I had. Uh, from just the movies that me and my brother we watched a couple of days, not even days, I would say about three, four months ago. So this is a 84 inch projector screen diagonal, I believe. And we watched Tom Cruise Mission Impossible. So just for height reference, you guys can see. And these are all mosquitoes. <laughs> I rolled it right up while they were there, killed them. But <laughs> you guys can see now I gotta wash it and clean it. That's pretty good for the projector. Yeah, that's, for that, that, that's pretty much for that. There's still beams we're gonna attach and we're gonna do all the more mounting for that. And that's pretty much how we have an outdoor setup. Otherwise, we got our movie came in today. We got our Blu-ray disc like I showed you guys in the other video I made. Here's our 4K. We got our Blu-ray, the digital code we're gonna be using, guys. So yeah, we're gonna be watching this. It says Blu-ray disc bonus. Better be the full movie, man. Better not be playing with me out here <laughs> i know right start playing the movie and it's like oh just a bonus disc guys still more work going on here you guys can see definitely we gotta clean up a lot, not, lot to do i'm not the person out here hiding the mess or anything you guys can see got my oklahoma joe's smoker offset right now it's really offset right <laughs> it's not even set onto where it's supposed to be you gotta print my patio here so so much more to do but i'm like yo guys we gotta hustle we gotta do this right now the movie came out it's been out but you guys can say it just came out today for like pickup and whatnot right 
All right, guys, so we set it all up. It's looking good. Got it set up on the trailer and whatnot. Got everything set up. It's looking much better. Got my brother sitting here. It's kind of hard to see. He's even saying no, he doesn't. I get Come it. on, the kid. I don't want to but, do but you, I don't want a picture with him. But you, he's going to feel bad. Sorry. Projector set up. Move the chair over. Take the guy here. No, it's great, Chris. Thank you very much. Oh, go! Bruce. Damn. Bruce. Listen to your mom. She knows better. About what you were saying. Right. Not if I move back like 20 feet. What are you saying? <laughs> so pitch dark, it's not picking up anything much. Just the screen. But it's all good. Yeah. Can you just skip through it a little bit? Here we go. Time travel test number one. Scott, fire up the, uh, the van thing. Breakers are set. Emergency generators are on standby. Good. We blow the grid. I don't want to lose a uh, tiny here in the 1950s. Excuse me? He's kidding. I can't say things. Just the VS 150s out here. Bad joke. I mean, the VS 120s. 12 inch. Okay. I have no idea what we're talking about time travel here. Either it's all a joke or none of it is. We're good. Get your helmet on. Scott, I'm going to send you back a week. Let you walk around for an hour, then bring you back in 10 seconds. Make sense? Perfectly not confusing. Good luck, Scott. You got this. You're right. I do, Captain America. <laughs> This is Rocket. How you doing? He won't see you. 